Good morning everybody, Automotive Inquiries. I uh, just thought I would shoot a video this morning. Um, I'm about 1100 miles into owning the uh, 22 F250 with the 7.3 gas Godzilla, um, which now is called the Federal. And um, I, I really wanted to come out with this as soon as I possibly could because, you know, I gotta be honest and tell, tell everybody, just don't. Don't do it. Do not do it. And what I mean by that is, is when you're going out to look for a new truck, you wanna look for the purpose of which you're gonna use it for. If this is your commuter and you're gonna pull under, say, 7,000 pounds, then go for a half ton. Go for any of the new little 2.7 turbos that you know, Chevy and Ford are making. I really love my EcoBoost F-150. <clears throat> it's a pickup, it gets the job done, and it gets really good fuel economy. Now, when you step up to the 3.5, it dips a little bit in fuel economy, but that's also subjective to your trim level and how you drive. So if you drive like a bat out of hell, the 2.7 will also get, you know, reasonably normal fuel economy if you drive it well. You know, you'll push, I pushed 27. I pushed 23 and 24 in town most of the time, 27 to like 30 on the highway, and people can question me all the time that. I checked it against the uh, the fuel um, average down there. It was only off by two tenths. And I, uh, I get usually better fuel economy than most people do in any vehicle. So what I wanted to say was, is find the purpose of the vehicle that you're buying, okay? Now, if you're gonna go out and say buy a trailer and your trailer is going to weigh eight, 9,000 pounds and you want to have confidence in towing, uh, confidence in going up and down the hills, stopping, you, I would highly recommend always going one step above what you need, okay? Now, the Coyote, um, F-150 crew uh, mid-size bed, the 6.5, not the 8-footer. You can't get the 8-footer with a crew. Now, that one does push up, I think, in around the 11,000 um, range, and they say you can tow a fifth wheel with it. I just wouldn't. Um, but just go a step above the um, what you need because then you'll have the confidence in towing. Now, you can go with the 6.8 liter in 23, which is a smidge under the 7.3 if you want to. Um, I'm sure it'll be a great motor. Um, right now you're subjected to the 6.2 if you're buying a, uh, a uh, 22 and uh, older. <clears throat> but, you know, if you go a step above, you won't beat up the truck. You won't, uh, you know, have a little bit of shaky uh, confidence when you're going up and down the mountains. And really you won't have any really big issues, okay? Now, Here's where I'm gonna tell you on the 7.3. Do not, do not, versus the diesel, do not skip this motor, okay? That's the magic of it. I've been driving this 1,100 miles. Um, I don't tow every day. I do did order a 23 just because it didn't cost me anything. I wanted to see what it was like, um, but it was in the diesel. And I'm not sure I'm gonna give up this truck. And reason being is because I don't like all the extra maintenance. I do love all the extra power. But I'm gonna do a separate video on cost and fuel economy. And really, when you go apples to apples on a truck, when you go and put in the same trim level, um, same axle ratios and everything like that, and then put it apples to apples, getting less fuel economy in this truck is still cheaper to own and drive with fuel economy than the diesel. Even if the diesel gets 18 and this gets 14. So I'll, I'll show that in a separate video. But save on the maintenance, save 10 grand initially, and you can idle this thing 10 hours a day and never have to worry about a regen and EGR cleaning, def, um, 15 quart oil changes that are about $250 a piece, uh, two sets of fuel filters, every other oil change, um, turbos, cooling down, all of that. All right, now this one does have the max tow, so it'll get up to 18 on this. Um, if, if everything is right in the world. But, you know, people will say, well, I have a platinum, you know, 7.3 and it doesn't get as good as fuel economy as you're claiming. You're right. And the reason being is because when you add weight to this truck, 
you're going to cut your fuel economy, all right? And everything you put in here, all the swag, all the cool stuff, leather seats, that, that weighs a lot more. It's also going to cut down your payload, all right? So if you go with a base trim level, that's why when people talk about Ram having a 35,000 pound uh, tow ratio, that is a two-wheel drive because the four-wheel drive system weighs a lot of, uh, puts a lot of weight. Um, that's a two-wheel drive, regular cab, long bed, and that's with the max rear end and the biggest motor. You're right, you're going to get that. But all you guys out there that uh, say, well, I got a one-ton dually mega cab uh, with the ASIN and, and everything, yeah, I'm sorry, you're not quite going to be there uh, because all of that extra Laramie limited stuff that you put in there, it weighs stuff. And that goes for Ford, that goes for everybody. So when it talks about you know fuel economy, that is also going to directly affect that. So when you look right here, my payload on this bad boy is 3,100 pounds on an F-250, okay? Well, that's damn good. But it's also an XLT, so a lot of the weight can be taken off because I didn't have, you know, leather seats and all the electronics and I don't have a bed liner in it yet and I don't have all that stuff. But all that stuff's going to affect the payload even when I put the hitch in. A few, I'm going to lose a few hundred pounds on that. So, I love this motor. It, there is no replacement for displacement. And I think, like I said in my other video, gas versus diesel, if you are not towing over 100 days a year, or you're not over 18,000 pounds on your trailer, you do not need to go grab a diesel. Secondly, if you're coming from an F-150, a Silverado 1500, a Ram 1500, anything like that, don't even bother driving the diesel if your things you're towing and moving uh, do not weigh in excess of 18,000. Go drive the gas because I'm telling you, the money you're gonna save, you're never gonna equate that back in saving fuel economy over the, the diesel. And even when diesel, if it ever comes back down, um, you're never going to get that cost back because by that time, you're gonna have spent more per mile to drive it um, and everything like that. So this motor is phenomenal. It's fast, it runs great. It sounds fantastic with the, with the stock exhaust on it. Um, it's super comfortable. It's got more grunt. It has excellent engine braking. Like when I put it, if you even put it in tow haul when you're not towing, I mean, you let off the throttle of this thing, gears down and, and grabs. It's just like a very similar to how an exhaust brake or an engine brake work on the diesels. And I don't regret my decision of getting this now. And I think that the biggest mistake you could do as a, as a coming in um, truck owner or truck buyer is to skip looking at this truck kind of truck with the with that even if you wanted to go f-350 the 73 i think it's well worth it and um i think you'd be missing out now if you want to go with the 6.8 that's gonna be a new motor if you want to go with the 6.2 i've driven the 6.2 that's a good motor um but this is a good mix of having all the power you need and with this 10 speed it's so smooth i'm getting you know 14 and a half uh period on the highway on the in town um and that's you know it, it's fantastic my v10 at work it gets 7.6 miles to the gallon pulling or driving that's just what it is i did drive a chevy 6.6 .6 gas with the six speed in it they're going to have that 10 speed this year uh the allison's going in that which i think will be a good addition however that motor just just a little bit lacking uh in power when i drove it with the six speed and the only issue i have is is the Duramax, which I, I think is a great motor, got really crappy fuel economy on that uh, 22 that I bought, or sorry, it was a 21, and uh, and it was a base truck, and it only got 14 half miles a gallon, just cruising. Um, I was pretty pretty bummed out about that, and I had the 10 speed, so gas is not going to be much better on that, but I would say similar to the same thing. If you're getting 14 in the Duramax and 10 in that gas, it's still going to be cheaper to go that direction. Hit me up with any questions, guys. I'm gonna do another video of the breakdown of why I say this gas motor, do not skip it. Do not just go directly to a diesel because they're cool. I love diesels, but you know, they just, the cost is outrageous compared to what you're getting in this truck. So drive safe out there. Uh, please just subscribe. If you don't like the notifications of all these people putting out videos, that's groovy. You don't have to get notifications from me, but please do subscribe if you came to the channel to watch this. That way uh, I can eventually get up there and uh, and have uh, YouTube maybe hook me up with a little bit of cash for all the stuff. Again, guys, I do buy all of these vehicles. These are not loaned to me. I don't go to dealers and test drive their vehicles and give you a 
20 minute roundhouse of why I think this truck is cool and whatnot. I own this, so I'm gonna give you the bad, the good, and the ugly. Later.